Hi there, Nick's user here. So today we're going to take a little bit of a look at one of the tools that uh, the suckless.org website has produced, churned out if you will, called ST. Now ST is a terminal emulator, um, but it's one that you probably haven't heard of and probably for good reason. It's one of the less featureful bloat-free terminal emulators out there. As you can see, they've got some reason for doing this. Suckless is known for their unusual approach at tooling. They followed a sort of uh, what they call a Suckless philosophy, or I'd call it a kind of Unix philosophy, and that is that a tool should do one thing and do one thing well. So anyway, you can see here that Xterm is bloated and unmaintainable. I've also used uh, URXVT, which I'm pretty happy with, I recently moved over to ST because ST has uh, the least features that I don't want and most of the features that I do. There are a couple of unusual things about it. For example, it doesn't have scrolling. That's not a big deal because you can use uh, tools such as uh, Tmux to uh, facilitate that. You can see some of the features just here. I'll let you read that yourself. So anyway, let's get along with uh, installing it. So first of all, you've got to do is you've got to grab this git clone. Now make sure you've got git installed on your machine because if you don't have git installed you're not going to have much fun. Now I previously did a build on this machine so I know that it has git. So I'm going to just do this right now. Now ST fortunately is not a very big program so it's going to be cloned pretty quickly. So we're about 90% of the way and let's continue. Okay great we've got it. So let's just go into the ST directory right now and, and see what we find. Okay so one of the files that uh, is obviously important when you're building is the make file. You'll see there's no configure file here, so we're just going to type make. And we'll just use J so we can do a nice rapid build. Okay, so we're lacking font config. It's very important when you're building software that you realize what you're missing and get on with the job of installing it. So we don't have XFT as well. So let's have a go at that. Now you note here that I'm installing the Devel uh, version of the package, not the other one. Notice also that I'm choosing the x86-64 version. So let's do this. Now, I'm not going to do that right yet. I'm going to see what I can do about this bit too. We've also got the XFT uh, the libxft file here, uh, package. So I'm going to install that too. So what I'll do is I'm going to grab both of these. I'll just go back and give it the directive to install them. Let's see how it goes with that. So it's resolved the dependencies, and off we go. Now it's great. Now I'm already root, so I'm going to leave that there because we may need to install um, st into slash user slash local. But that's not entirely necessary if we don't want to. Um, but let's just open a tab right now. Let's see if we can move that tab into the prime location. And let's go back to and have a look. Back to ST and have a look. So let's do let's do the make. Okay, so we've got ourselves a nice little ST file there. We also have ourselves a config.h, which we could have used before to customize. In a moment, I'm going to get you to take a look at that, but let's just do the first run for ST. And look at that, we get a nice basic terminal. You see here we have no uh, side, we have no sidebar there uh, to manipulate the the buffer. So we could do a whole bunch of configuration though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a config that I've already done in a moment, but first let's have a look at the config.h. You can see there's a whole bunch of stuff. You can change the border pixels. You can change the font. But you notice here that it's actually C code. That's right, you saw it, C code. There's an actual C header here, and the C header is um, is what's used to configure it each time. Now, there are a bunch of directives that you could add. There is a man page for ST if you install it via package manager, but then you'd kind of uh, <laughs> you're avoiding your warranty regarding uh, building the thing and installing it yourself with your customizations. 
Let's know too that true color was the feature. You can actually add your own colors after after here. You can add your own colors and enjoy them. See? You can change various things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in my own. Now I've got a really nice config that I like to use. It's really friendly. While I'm at it, I'm also going to go back and install Tmux. So welcome back. I had to make a few uh, detours. Um, so one of the things I did pretty poorly just there was that I didn't uh, make a backup of the config file originally. So what I've done is I've re-downloaded the sources, which obviously didn't take very long. Um, this time I was I um, I made a, uh, a backup, as you can see, SD backup, making a backup of the entire Git uh, clone, and. Um, what I did then was I made some alter, uh, alterations to the config file manually uh, from my old config file. So I'll show you those changes. I've left them commented and that type of thing. So let's have a look. So if I go to the top, one of the first things you can see is that I changed my font from being merely um, this, you know, Liberation Mono. Now yeah, pixel size 12, blah, blah, blah. So uh, pixel size is now 15. The rest of it is the same, except also I had static here. That was causing an issue. So there's some language issues going on. The in. next thing is I added two more colors. So you can see here. Note the lack of a comma afterwards here. Okay, so it does require some familiarity with C. Uh, the next is this. I had static in front of this as well. It didn't, it didn't like it. The compiler didn't like it. So I could drop that, but I include my own colors. You can see what is originally here. Now, this has a nice effect. You can see they've got this nice blue background going on here. And if I go, this looks really quite pretty. So this is what I'm using. Now, the next stage in all of this is to actually incorporate uh, Tmux. And so what you can see is I can now scroll. I've issued a command, and I'll show you what that command was. Set dash G mouse on, which means I can use my mouse now for scrolling up and down. There is another shortcut. I'll invite you to take a look at the uh, at the Tmux man page for that. But what this means is that I now have the ability to scroll. So if I go, I can actually scroll up just using the mouse wheel. You can see up here there's a little uh, line number of how many lines. So that's basically it guys. This is how you can do it. There is um, another uh, I guess another config guide that I'd like to give you with Tmux which will ena enable you to add Tmux to any uh, session that you'd like. Um, also another one is that uh, you should really put uh, ST in your path. What I recommend is you create a user bin directory or you install it to uh, slash user slash local slash bin. So what I would recommend in fact is that you uh, make a directory called um, dollar home forward slash bin and that you change your path uh, towards that you prepend your path to have a dollar home slash bin so anyway guys that pretty much leaves it there there'll be some other config guides that I produce in future with regard to this uh, particularly around making it a seamless transition uh, when you start your terminal to have tmux start anyway guys I'm going to leave it there if you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe uh, leave your comments below and remember I do have the uh, other ways that you can donate uh, and whatnot, uh, Patreon uh, and PayPal. So anyway guys, I'm going to leave it here. Bye now.